Hey guys, Lauren here. Um, so yeah, I just decided to do two videos because, oh man, there's some things that you also might not know about me or like my hobbies and stuff. Like you guys know that I do comedy skits and I play video games and stuff like that. But there are also some things that you probably don't even know about me. Like, what are my passions that I used to do when I was very, very young? And I will get into those right now. So, one thing that I did was I collected stuffed animals. And there's, I have a whole bin of stuffed animals just sitting in my room. And I don't know what they're doing here. They're right there. See? And I just have that there, and it just sits there for the rest of my life. So, yeah. The smudge is over there. Staring. Hi, Smudge. She's the coldest stare in the world. But anyway, let's get right into the news. I'm so sorry, Keemstar. Oh my god. There are too many legendary memes after me. There's uh, Joe's World Tour after me. There's Stomedy after me. Not really. They're not really chasing me. There is the... Hmm. There's the pink-headed anime chick. I'm making a lot of references to a specific YouTuber. Who are all legendary memes on the on his channel. If you don't know this guy, screw you. If you don't like him, screw you. If you do like him, because he's an awesome guy. Anyway, um, let's get right into this, so. Yeah. Oh. God. So, ever since I was seven, I have been very, I loved comics. Specifically, comic books. Even more specifically, Garfield. Garfield just kind of made me do what I do right now. And that is entertain people with my art and stuff, like Domix did for me. Um, I didn't get into Domix until about... I think I started talk list watching Domix when I was about, I don't know, uh, four 14, 14 probably. But yeah, my biggest inspiration came from Jim Davis's Garfield. And I have two comics here that I want to show you. One is straight from pen pencil and the other's in uh, color. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this. I'm going to start with the one that came first. The one that's in color. I made this. So let me just get right into this. It's very stupidly short, but just let it slide. Man, I need a new Pokemon. That's the little thing that you get when you love like a little the little thing that it like circles around it and it turns it and it slowly turns it black. That's what that is. It comes out noddish. Basically, battle it, catch it, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. Now I'm just walking down, and then here's me battling Misty with a Oddish. Now, if you've been on this channel for probably the year, you know that I really like Vile Plume. And it's one of the only grass types that I actually use. So, anyway, to come to the final caption of Misty doing some stuff. I'm just going to read it off. 
Misty wants to fight. My Misty got Misty got owned. Got two thousand three hundred dollars. Here's the cascade badge, jerk. The end. So yeah, that's one of my stupidest comics I ever made, but at least it's in color. Next one I got is uh, one that I thought of very recently. I, in fact, I think this is as recent as it gets. Um, I also did other comics. My first ever comic was called Dunceman. It's basically about uh, two idiots trying to get out of school over their... Even though they're stupid... Then it turned dunce man. They basically try and get out of school so they can be free for summer vacation, but they can't because they have to go through summer school and all that stuff. And they just come up with the silliest answers, like, um... Um, I think one of them that I drew was um, them in, like, math or reading, and they basically were just like... What is 3 plus 3? And then they would come out with stuff like, Why am I answering this when I could be playing video games, you fat jerk? I don't know where I got that stuff. I was a weird kid. Give me a break. I was like 7 or 8 when I wrote those comics, man. But yeah, I've been writing comics for almost 10 years. So. Anyway... I kind of, and then when I, and then I moved on to Dunce Man Idiots Unite, which was another comic that I made, um, about three years later, I think it was like three years later, and it's basically, and it basically added a bit more spice to them, and I gave action, and it was a little two idiots. It, I give it a little more spice, and I made them go on, like, adventures, like, travel through the sewers and stuff like that. So, yeah, I made those comics, and those comics, I, I think I didn't start, like, showing people com my comics until, uh, four years into my comic career. And then came Dunce Mania, which is basically, it's kind of like Dunce Mania 82 Night, but it kind of gives random scenarios in one comic. I think I actually have one, a, a comic somewhere of that, of Dunce Mania. Oh yeah, here's like some of them. Oh yeah, I have some. So, I have, this is my first uh, card, comic acid mistake. It's one of the first acid, acid mistakes that I ever made. And it's called that because they're, they're above a pool of acid and they're stupid because it's sense mania. So, they basically try and get into random scenarios of them doing stupid stuff, as you know. So he's just standing on a balloon, and he presses a switch, pops a balloon, he falls, and he dies. That's basically what it is, and it's basically kind of commits random scenarios like that. As you can see, he's flipping a switch. It says, uh, warm on the sign, and then he flips it, and then it says acid, he dies. Basics! Oh my god... And then here's, um, uh, versus Mr. Spider. So, let me give you the characters on here. There's Aaron and Carter, which are the main characters. And then there's Jack, which is a side character that appears randomly. But anyway, they... Yeah, it's very interesting, actually. And this is where I stop it because there's literally nothing else after this page. Yeah, that's Dunce Mania. And, uh, oh, dang. 
I think I'm going to leave this video here because it's getting too long. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.